Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hoover Smart Wash. I'm going to show you how to take off the, uh, the belt. Uh, this is what the belt looks like. Uh, the belt has ridges on the inside. Ridges, ruffles, whatever you want to call them on the inside. Um, FH52000, FH52001 is the model number. They have different model numbers for the same belt. I looked online, they all look the same, so I gave it a shot, and uh, I just got it in the mail. I already put the belt on to the Hoover Smart Wash. If you have a Hoover Smart Wash, FH52000, FH52001, uh, I believe I got it off of eBay. But here we go. First of all, it's got a bunch of screws. A bunch of screws got to take off. Probably about uh, 15 screws. 15 different screws, all the same size. Okay, so if you can see here, this hose right here has two screws that go onto it, onto the, uh, the, the, the vacuum cleaner itself. You gotta put, take these screws off. And these screws are the ones right here that I took off, these two screws. You screw them back on right here but those are the first ones I took off so as I took those off I had to take off uh, the rest of the screws underneath the uh, shampooer I took off about 15 screws they're all over 15 screws when you lift up uh, lift underneath the uh, shampooer you're going to see a bunch of screws you're going to need your uh, automatic screwdriver and a regular screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, because uh, sometimes you don't have the extension um, for this power tool, you will have to go this route. So I'm doing, them, I did them both. I took the screws off already. So you got about 10 screws, 15 screws underneath here, 10, 10 screws underneath here. And you have two screws that connects this hose down to here. Now, once you take off all the screws from underneath here, and the screws up here, you're going to have to pop open, kind of pry the top off. So it comes right up, it comes up. And you'll see the belt over here. The belt is on this side. Now, hopefully you can see what I'm, what I'm looking at. Actually, give me a second. I'm going to give you a closer view. All right, here we go. I gotta get a flashlight. I wanna show it to you up close and personal. When you pry off this uh, top right here, you're gonna see where the belt actually goes. Now, this middle piece here has to come off. It just pops off. It doesn't have to be pulled, pushed, or all that. Just slide it off, and then you put the belt on. And then you'll pry this back on. You'll pry this back on. I mean, I'll just actually push it back on. It'd be a little snug, but you'll be able to get this back on. You cannot get the belt onto these pulleys right here without moving this first. Because you try to put it on this pulley over here, this steel pulley over here, which is connected to the motor. You're going to have a hard time doing that. So you have to take this, this pulley off. It's like a serpentine belt on your, on your vehicle, on your car. You uh, start here. Um, on the left and you wrap it around here to this pulley and you bring it all the way down underneath this pulley and then you bring it back up and then when, once you bring it back up you slide it back down underneath this pulley right here you're going to see that there's slack in the belt still that's when you put this pulley right here in the middle back on it's going to take a little finagling to put it back on there but this must come off and go on last as you put the belt back onto the pulleys and the motor pulley. So that's how you do it. Um, it is a Hoover Smart Wash. Uh, we just bought it uh, last year, early last year. So once you put it back on there, you're good to go. Um, 
hopefully this helps you out because the other videos are not giving me a demonstration on how to put the belt on here or where the belt location is. Sometimes you will see on eBay or uh, Amazon that they got the whole assembly by itself that you can put on um, or by itself, by the whole thing itself and put on there, which is going to cost you a lot of money um, when you can actually uh, go to eBay or Amazon and get this uh, belt itself. This belt is a H5H uh, 52,000 or a 5H 52,001 belt with the uh, ridges on the inside. It's not a smooth belt on the left, on the top or the bottom on the inside. It's got smooth on the outside and ridges on the inside. So do not get a belt that actually uh, smooth on the outside and smooth on the inside. That's not the proper belt. You want ridges, you want ridges to actually be on the inside and smooth on the outside so it can um, wrap around these pulleys which has have like uh, ridges on them itself. So there you go ladies and gentlemen. About five or ten screws underneath that you're going to have to unscrew and then you're going to have to unscrew right here these screws here that connects the um, holes to the uh, to the to the, to the um, shampoo itself. Um, once you um, put these screws back in there first and then put all the uh, screws back underneath here and over here. You're going to have screws over here also and screws over here also. You will see where you have to put the uh, screwdrivers into the holes and get them out of there. You may miss one. If it doesn't come off real fast, as soon as you get all the screws off, it's probably because you missed one. So make certain that you get all the screws out first and these two top ones here and then gently pry this off of here and you will get to the belt and the pulleys over here. Uh, actually, let me show you what the belt number is that I'm looking at. Hopefully you can see it. All right. That's the number that I have, but it's different um, on eBay. And um, it's a different number on eBay and um, Amazon. But this is the belt that um, I have that I actually I'm going to replace it with on the Hoover Smart Wash that I bought last year. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you have any, any questions or anything, leave me a comment in the description on all good stuff. Thank you very much. I'm out of here.